Good morning everyone, I am Eugene Biabara and I am your science teacher. But before we start, can I ask someone to please lead us a prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love, and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. You may now all take your seat. But first, let me check your attendance. Say present if you are here, ah. Abara Mawi. Present, sir. Balmaseda Hanabi. Present, sir. Kalaksan Hayabusa. Present, sir. Mm, you're here. De La Cruz Cago. Present, sir. Eusebio Angela. Present, sir. Fajardo Selina. Present, sir. Garcia Parsa. Present, sir. And Paxley Gusho. Present, sir. Very good class. I'm so happy because no one is absent for today. Anyway, do you still remember what we had discussed yesterday? Or can someone please recall us? What did we discuss yesterday? Yesterday, we discussed about the different body parts. For example, the hand, head, hair, feet, and finger. Very good. So today, I am going to introduce to you a new lesson. And of course, I will read first its learning objectives. Objective, at the end of the lesson, the pupils should be able to A. Describes the different sense organ B. Appreciates the importance of the sense organ of the body and C. Gives the function of the different sense organ of the body. Class, do you know who's in the picture? No, sir. All right. Listen, I will tell a story of Helen Keller. Helen Keller of 1880-1968 lived in a world of darkness and silence. She was blind and deaf. She could neither see nor hear. Yet, she became one of America's most famous authors and lecturers. She has a very good teacher, Anne Sullivan. Anne made Helen fill objects with one hand. Then, she traced the word for each object onto the palm of Helen's hand. Now, class, I'm going to ask you several questions and please answer it, okay? Number one question, who is Helen Keller? She was blind and deaf. Very good. Letter B. Who was her teacher? Or what is the name of her teacher? Yes, Kagura? Her teacher, Anne Sullivan. Very good. Letter C. How did her teacher make her learn to read and write? Even if she's deaf and blind, right? How? Yes. Hayabusa, can you please answer? She let Helen fill objects with one hand. Then, she traced the word for Very each good. object Very onto good. the palm of Helen's okay. hand. Letter D, what sense of organ did she use? Angela, can you please answer? The sense of touch. Thank you. Very good, class. Very good. You really heard the story. So, class... I have prepared some video presentation for you to watch that will reveal what is our new lesson for today. 
And remember, listen and watch it attentively. Okay? Here's the video. Our topic for today is sense organs. Our five sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. Huh? Yeah. We are able to learn, understand, and enjoy all the things around us because huh? of our sense organs. Our eyes help us to see the different objects around us. With the help of our ears, we can hear and differentiate the different kinds of sounds. Smell is the power of detecting a fragrance or an odor. We can smell with the help of our yes. nose. <laughs> the sense of smell is connected to the sense of taste. Food tastes less tasty if the nose is blocked. The taste buds on the tongue help us to enjoy the different flavors of food. Our fifth sense organ is the skin. Our skin acts as a blanket to protect us from heat, cold and germs. Very good. Next, I will be showing to you some words that you might be familiar with and I want you to answer or give any idea about the word. Okay? How about this word? The word organs. Organ. Organ derives from the Latin word organum, meaning instrument. Very good. How about functions? Abadamawi, what is function? Functions the kind of action or activity proper. Very good. How about sense organ? Sense organ as a specialized organ or structure such as the eye, ear, tongue, nose, or skin where sensory neurons are concentrated and that functions as a receptor. Very good. Okay, now I am going to present to you a picture and I want you to share any prior knowledge about the picture that I am going to show you. Okay? Now, I am going to show you a picture and I want you to share any idea or insights about the picture. Number one, what is in the picture? Very good. Number two, what are they? They are what? The third question should be, what are the functions of each sense organ? The eyes are for, the nose is for, the ears are for, the tongue is for, and the skin is for. Okay, very good. Please give yourself a clap. You deserve it. Very good. So, okay, now that you have learned about the five sense organ and its function, I prepared a 
10 questions for you to answer to assess your knowledge or whether you get um, our lesson for today or you have learned something about the lesson, okay? Number one, okay, here's the instruction. Can you tell which sense organs you will use to describe the following? Okay, let's let's use number one as an example. Number one, the height of the building. Your what you are going to your answer should be what sense organ you use when we talk about the height of the building. Yes, it is our eyes. Okay, number two is not a bonus anymore, okay? Number two, the taste of ampalaya. The taste of ampalaya. What sense organ are you going to use? Hmm? Okay, may I call on Garcia Parsa? The tongue. Very good. Okay, number three, texture of a silk cloth. What sense organs are we going to use? The texture. The texture of a silk cloth. Pax Ligusan, can you answer? Very good. Yes, our skin. Number four. The fragrance of Sampagita. What sense organ are you going to use? The fragrance of Sampagita. Well, Maseda Hanabi, can you please answer? Okay, yes. The sense of smell. Number five. The, number five is the beautiful music. What sense organ are we going to use? Yes, our ears. Very good. Number six. The heat of the hot pan. What sense organ are we going to use? The heat of the hot pan. Yes, uh, is you Angela? Can you please answer? Yes, our skin. Number seven, the color of your friend's eyes. How would you know the color of your friend's eyes? Using what sense organ? Very good, the eyes. Number eight, the flavors of your mother's recipe. Or the taste of the food that we it what sense organ are we going to use hmm? the tongue very good number nine the sound of the guitar how would we know the sound of the guitar using what sense organ using our what yes very good Maui the ears Number 10, the temperature in Baguio City. What sense organ are we going to use? The temperature in Baguio City. The sense? What? What sense organ? Yes, the skin. We know Baguio is very cold, you know? Okay, please give yourself a clap. We deserve it, class. Okay, very good class. Now, for your assignment, in your notebook, write different ways on how we take good care of our five senses. I hope you learned something about our lesson. Goodbye and see you tomorrow. Goodbye class. Goodbye. Thank you.